Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Nice to have you. <laughs> uh, so I'm John Gingrich, uh, board chair here for the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce and the chief revenue officer at Humu. Uh, very nice to have the group and the collection of businesses uh, here representing uh, San Francisco and the greater Bay Area. Um, at the San Francisco Chamber, we focus on three areas to serve our chamber members. Business development, public policy and advocacy, and e economic development. And the workforce is a key dimension uh, to all three of those. So as the name apply, implies, our event today is all about the workforce. We'll hear perspectives and different thoughts uh, on aspects of the workforce ranging from local hiring to the impacts of artificial intelligence and augmentation on our workers and businesses to new approaches that make work better for everyone. What does that look like in San Francisco? Well, we hear stories uh, of unemployment continue to hover in the mid 2% range, representing the low end of the unemployment curve over the last 30 years. And we hear stories that there are talent shortages in many industries right now. We're feeling that in, as businesses. Um, pretty amazing position to be in. Yet we have a large group of diverse youth in our communities here in San Francisco that don't have those same opportunities. And we should be preparing them now to take great jobs here in San Francisco. Here at the Chamber, we're committed to building those bridges to create pipelines for our youth, and we do this through Unite SF, a program of our foundation that works with civic, business, and education leaders to build education to career pathways for local high school and college students. As part of its mission, Unite SF has been leading the Chamber's efforts on Mayor Breed's Inspiring Opportunities for All initiative, and we invite any Chamber member that is not already signed up to provide a work-based learning opportunity to our local youth. You can do that on our website, and we're excited to announce that as of today, 35 Chamber members have committed to providing internships for youth in that program. So thank you to those organizations. The Chamber also recently launched a Workforce Development Committee for our members. Uh, this is across different industries, including higher education, to innovate around solutions to current hiring challenges and prepare for the ways in which technology will transform their workforces. So I'd like to acknowledge the committee members who are here with us today and listed on the screen. Thank you, everyone, for being part of the committee. In our own backyard, uh, San Francisco Unified School District leaders have also done a great job in increasing high school graduation rates and college attendance rates. In fact, SFUSD is sending 75% of their graduates to college, which is 15 points above the state average. Pretty impressive. Unfortunately, financial, academic, and social barriers often prevent many of these students from graduating college. With the college graduation rates for achieving a two-year degree at 44% and for achieving a four-year degree at 23%. So doing the rough math, uh, our kids in the SFUSD have a one in six chance of earning a four-year college degree. We can certainly do better than that. We must strengthen and unify our efforts in the business community to better support these students. We need to ensure that they have internships at our companies, both in high school and in college, to get the experiences and importantly to build the networks to help them attain the jobs of their dreams. We have a great group of dedicated STEM companies engaged here with the Chamber, including Genentech, Salesforce, LinkedIn, Google, and more. And I'd like to personally encourage you all to consider joining the Unite SF Advisory Board or consider working with us on building better local talent pipelines with your company. Bridging this hiring gap is also dependent on a strong public-private partnership, including everyone in this room. Today is an important step, and we'll hear more about what the city, companies, and higher education are already doing to address our workforce needs. So, uh, I know we're all anxious to get to the program. Uh, before I turn over the mic, I'd like to recognize our sponsors who make today possible. Uh, so, our event sponsors, Accenture and Postmates, thank you very much. Um, big thank you to our beautiful venue sponsor, the Merchants Exchange. This is one of my favorite places. Uh, and our media sponsors, NBC Bay Area, San Francisco Business Times, and the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, and then other additional sponsors on the screen, thank you for being part of our event. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge our city family who are here with us today. I'd like to acknowledge my fellow San Francisco Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors members in the audience. We have a slide on that. 
Uh, great. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for names, Rodney. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I hope you leave here today uh, with anticipation and excitement uh, for what the future holds. Um, I hope that we add to your toolbox with uh, information, data points, ideas on next steps for you and your organization. Um, we encourage you again to join our workforce committee to make the pledge to participate in Mayor Breed's Opportunities for All initiative. And this is a great time of convergence. Um, and the Chamber of Commerce is here to help guide businesses and the greater San Francisco business community through those challenges and the opportunities in front of us. So thank you, and please join me in welcoming Scott back to the podium.